Welcome to Streaming the Lux. My name is still Mr. Orange and welcome my friends. Let's check the Hell Let Loose Steam review. So overall mostly positive reviews uh, with around 600 reviews for now. Release date of the game was the 6th of June, so two days ago. So the game is published by Team17 Digital and developed by Black Matter. And it's an early access game as we all know and the price is around 30 euros so very interesting so check out the steam store page and then I would say we jump immediately into the steam review since we all uh, all more or less know what the game's about it's a second world war tactical uh, multiplayer shooter so it has a lot of potential it looks very pretty bad how are the steam reviews and I see some I see some red uh, thumbs down and this is actually a bit worrying so I thought this game is going to be like the battlefield killer here so so let's uh, check out what, what they write all right so Dr. Udfi Ariana writes I supported this uh, on Kickstarter and I was looking forward to it more than to any other game but the developers just trashed everything it was worth buying for all right and then a lot of uh, information text is coming and then so he writes i really want to like this game and i did until it has fallen victim to the mass market so hmm so here a positive review of someone that played it 112 hours Splatter our rights why i would recommend at its core it's a very small polish uh, fps hitboxes netcode ballistic damage modeling are very well done immersion it's hardcore all the way one of the best experience i have played on the battlefield suppression is terrifying gore rt strike artillery strike carpet bombing a plus gameplay mechanics the developers experimented with different approaches and have a good balance squad play you must play as a group great example in video below to so check out this video roads loadout uh, he likes the balance players who insist on lone wolfing have no way to uh, impact the game mm, i'm a lone wolf i'm a lone wolf in multiplayer games i have to admit deployable objects into the battlefield armor is meant to be terrifying and hard to take out optimization granted i run it uh, with a 10 ATTI with a very good i8 8 700 processors and i'm getting great frame rates consistently 70. so what is more important and why splatter wouldn't recommend it here so if you like to be rewarded for solo gameplay this isn't for you if you don't want to be on comps working together communicating with teammates this isn't for you each map is 30 minutes maximum 120 minutes long it's a commitment to win if you need in-game enhancements to understand the battlefield like hit markers traces all the time enemy icons this isn't for you if you are willing to support a small developer who's working really hard to create a great game but it will take time and patience to get there this isn't for you so early access is an opportunity to be part da, 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 da. so we know the story all right he recommends it here a negative review wait for next wave for the second spawn time walk two minutes to get to the battlefield die wait for next wave for the second spawn time so it's just very tired some for fiat currency so who puts it down gives a thumbs down so Roxor. 030 right the game itself is awesome it's very funny it's very fun and entertaining however the optimization is horrible and unless the developers can fix that issue i can't recommend this game with a pure heart bravo 20 right if you are like me and coming from squad ps this is probably not the game for you at least not in its current state. Repetitive, bad quality sounds, cheap FX, broken anti-aliasing, questionable UI, bad voice in uh, voice voice IP, poor gun handling, mechanics, wonky animations, lack of any means of any transportation. All these should and probably will be fixed. Yeah, it's an early access. Keep this in mind, guys. But the core game, but the core game, my guys. Uh, itself just feels boring and not promoting any kind of team play. Maps, even nicely detailed, are mostly flat open grounds with artificial hedge barriers you always end up running along. Both rendering and gameplay mechanics make your firefights feel quite constrained. You never have a feeling of an ongoing battle at scale, instead, it's more like a small local skirmish. Hmm. 
All right, interesting opinion. Corrosion, right? Also give thumbs down. Got banned from the forums for a week for saying the spawn camping is terrible. <laughs> Not nice. If that doesn't tell you something, I don't know what will. Response of a developer, it's always important. Initially, a three day ban was implemented for the reason we provided. This was immediately revoked within a minute as we felt actually that wasn't fair. Oh. Okay. That's a bummer. Don't really like it uh, when people just get banned uh, from some from some forum for saying something, and then you get banned from a forum. I got banned two times from a forum on Steam. I think it's definitely not fair doing this. So let people let people freely talk their mind, freely talk their mind. All right. So, so I guess I unbanned him. Our Schiller's Last Stand, much better than post scriptum on release and you will get any better with added content fixes, recommended. And Brandon Sports Ride, it's a good game actually, people are mad that the version they got didn't match the Kickstarter, and rightfully so. I hope the developers plan to fulfill their promise. To those backers, all those negative reviews are basically about that. I do enjoy the current version, however. Alright, and uh, 40, 440 second Dutch rides. Best World War II game I have played in a long time. This game is very intense, has dark really wiped the visuals, amazing. It needs work, vaulting and MG placements to name just two things. But that aside, this game is going to uh, going in a great direction. The developers team are uh, great folk. Please play this game cooperative, use your mics or at least type in chat that you will follow your squad members. This game is best played as a group. You need each other to play scary sun. Spawn points, resources, AT guns, defensive structures, repair stations. Bring back the alpha sectors. Alright. And lucky strikes, right? Another example of an early access done right. The game has progress with every patch prior to early access and the developers communicate far more than most and have listened to the community by implementing our suggestions. By the time the game enters a full 1.0 release I expect it to be a game we'll, we'll play for quite a long time. Alright, alright, alright. So let's sum it up, let's sum it up. People are a little bit upset that it doesn't uh, match the promises from a Kickstarter. It is at the moment still Indeed, it's still an uh, early access game, so that's for sure. Uh, then it's a game you definitely have to play online, you have to play it with your friends. You, you have to use communication, so it's not a solo uh, run through uh, winning game, so you need communication, you have, to, you have to, to write stuff down, you need a Discord channel, for example, TeamSpeak or whatever. And uh, then you're only with a group of like two, three, four people you're going to get most out of this game, I would say. All right, but overall, it's probably a good World War II tactical shooter. I mean, it looks good, it looks like fun. Maybe it looks a bit less good than uh, it is promised in the trailer also or on Kickstarter, but it might be a good game overall. So guys, what do you think? Is it, is it, correct what people state on Steam or is it just another World War II tactical strategy cooperative shooter so leave it leave a commentary under my video give me a thumbs up if you didn't do it yet smash the thumbs up button please and yeah subscribe also to my channel would be awesome thank you very much guys see you next time